Hello, welcome to my presentation. My name is Chu Sun Wu. I'm an assistant professor of geography at the University of Tennessee. The title of my presentation is Automatic Mapping of Surface Water in uh, Tennessee using Google's Engine Cloud Computing. The slides of my uh, presentation can be accessed by scanning the QR code at the lower right corner or you can go to the URL gshub.org slash tingic. Here is the outline of my presentation. So first I will briefly talk about uh, Ghost Engine and then I will introduce the GMAP Python package. After that, I will show you some um, video tutorials and uh, key features of the package. At the end, I will demonstrate how you can use um, Google's engine for mapping uh, surface water in uh, Tennessee. On the right here shows you a uh, lane set time lapse animation. So this one is basically uh, created using the GMAP Python package without writing any line of a code. And you can click the link here, uh, web app, uh, to launch the web app. So all you need to do is to uh, go to the app. So this is the one uh, showing you here. And you can navigate to any location. Uh, or you can type, um, click the icon here, uh, uh, lower, uh, upper left corner. And then hit enter uh, to search any location you like. After that, you can use the drawing tools here on the left side to draw any like rectangle uh, around the globe and then you can customize the parameters in here so basically we're trying to create an animation showing the changes of the landscape during the past uh, uh, few decades so since 1984 uh, with lane set 5 and if you see from this in here uh, you can customize the parameters and you can also change for example colors or text and all you need to do is just click uh, create time lapse and you will go to the Google's engine to actually collect the data and then mosaic them to all kind of processing removing cloud at the end we will give you something like this so this is very easy and uh, uh, to do after that you can download the uh, time lapse to your computer by clicking the link at the bottom here and so then you can use this one to uh, post on social media or you can put on the, uh, any website to demonstrate the changes of the uh, landscape so this is something you can do using the gmap package uh, very uh, easily and i highly recommend that you uh, go to the web or you can also download the source code if you want to check uh, what the source code look like how to create an app uh, like that and here i'm going to show you some examples so for example this is showing the uh, the drawing of uh, aoc uh, mining in uh, canada also for example coastal expansion in dubai meandering rivers in blue, right? Uh, deforestations, also bushfire. Right? And lastly, also urban growth uh, in Las Vegas. So this doesn't, it, it doesn't have to be uh, this. It, it can be anything that you're interested in. You can customize the spectral bands, how to visualize the data. And uh, you don't need to write any like code and then you can create an animation like this just within um, a few seconds. Okay, so first I want to briefly introduce Google's uh, engine and I would like to point out that uh, the difference between Google's and uh, Earth's engine. So Google's, I'm sure most of you are very familiar. Um, it's a virtual uh, 3D globe that you can navigate um, the Earth and to view satellite imagery, for example, land set modes and other high resolution imagery. But you cannot do any analysis, right? So here I'm going to give you an analogy. So Google Earth is just like an image viewer, for example, on Windows system. On the other hand, um, Google Earth engine is just like Photoshop. You can do all kind of computation. And the nice thing about that is everything is running in the cloud. So you don't have to actually install anything on your computer. Um, you can go click the link here um, to go to the Google Earth engine webpage. And it's free for uh, research, education and non-profit use. Um, you can sign up for free and one of the biggest advantages of besides the computation power is that Google's engine has a huge data catalog so right now it has more than 30 petabyte of uh, data uh, one petabyte is 1000 terabyte so more than 30,000 uh, terabyte of data it has LaneSet, uh, some of the common uh, satellite mission for example LaneSet, uh, you know, Modis and all kinds of land use then cover also weather and climate data you can also upload your own data if um, the data set that you want not available um, in the data catalog. 
So Google Earth Engine provides two uh, APIs, uh, JavaScript API and Python API. Most of the users uh, get started with the JavaScript API because that's the default one. Uh, most of the tutorials and official documentation are written using the JavaScript API. So if you see from the interface in here, you can write the code here in the code editor and you can also display the results and data interactively using the, the web interface. But Python API uh, does not provide this interactive uh, functionality. This is, if you see these uh, red crosses in here, this is something I'm trying to implement uh, using um, Python API and using the GMAP package so to provide you the same functionality um, or similar functionality uh, like the JavaScript API. Okay, so this is um, what uh, the GMAP package is designed for. Uh, it's a package for interactive mapping with Google Earth Engine and also using IPy Leaflet and IPy Widget. It's open source post it on github um, you're welcome to check out the uh, the github uh, repo and here are some of the dependencies you can run the uh, gmap using uh, Jupyter notebook or you can also run, run it on the cloud environment for example uh, google collab and so you you can install the package uh, using a number of ways for example using pip or conda you can also install directly from github and i here i have a tutorial showing you how to actually install the package so right here, you can see uh, it's very simple and straightforward. You only need one line of code actually to create an interactive map like this. Uh, very easy to do. Also, I provide some example here. Uh, you can run this one using Collab and you can click the link here, um, the left side here, to open the notebook directly uh, on Collab and then you can run through that. I also have video tutorials showing how to do that. If you want to try this one using your local computer, uh, you can also install and then use the iPad leaflet. So I highly recommend you use Jupyter Notebook. Uh, that one provides full interactive functionality. If you use Collab, uh, it's relatively limited because Collab does not support iPad leaflet. Uh, it would be using the Folium protein backend and that one is really limited. There's no bi-directional uh, communication. So for example, when I click on the map, I want to get the coordinate and then I want to extract the data be, uh, for that location. You cannot do that using the folium, uh, but you can do that using the IPy uh, leaflet. So just want you to be aware. I also uh, published a short paper describing the package. So if you're interested in it, you can uh, go to the link to uh, check out the paper. Next, I'm going to show you the documentation. So this is something I developed uh, for the package. Uh, you can go to the link here uh, above and to check out the documentation and also tutorials also the api documentation one nice thing about this is that you can look at the hundreds of functions that i developed for this package and you can look at the source code behind so if you want to contribute or you want to learn more about the package you are welcome to check out the the source code and it was behind the scene how the package is constructed and how those functions develop Next, I'm gonna show you some video tutorials that I have uh, developed so far. And you can go to my uh, YouTube channel. So, so far I have de uh, developed 37 tutorials and uh, total length of more than nine hours. So each tutorial is roughly 15 to 20 minutes showing you how to use the package and then interactively, I also provide the notebook. So here is the list. Uh, this is the first 18, the other 18. So. Uh, each tutorial has a video, full-length video, usually 15 to 20 minutes. I also have a GF animation, that one usually within one minute, uh, 30 to 40 seconds. So if you don't have time to watch the full video, you can watch the highlights of uh, this animation. I also provide the Jupyter Notebook example, so you can reproduce exactly what I did uh, for that tutorial. So check out the link. Next, I'm going to quickly show you some of the key features of the package. So for example, uh, it's Google Earth Engine has a huge data catalog, as I mentioned earlier. You can just you click the button and then just search any keywords you like, and one click to load the data into the map. So, you can, for example, if I want census data, I just hit uh, search and then input. Then you have the census data directly loaded to the map, and then you can use that for doing computation. You don't have to download anything. Very really, very nice. You can also add some base map from the internet, for example. There are a lot of uh, web service um, on the internet, for example, XYZ and WMS uh, web services. You can easily bring this one to the map so they can compare the data 
um, with Google Search Engine. Again, everything is just the cloud. You don't have to download any data, just like Google Base Map. You can also create a split, uh, split panel map, like just like this left and right. Uh, this is very common in the social media or in the news outlet that you might see people or journalists use this to actually do clear some uh, changes before and after, for example, tornadoes, uh, natural disasters, something like that. Uh, very easy to do. One line of code, you can create a map like this. You can also use the inspector. So for example, you can click uh, activate inspector and then if you load the data onto the map, then you can click and you'll be able to extract the data uh, for each pixel value or, or vectors and then display here directly on the map. Uh, very, very easy to do. You can also do interactive uh, plotting. So for example, uh, if you want to look at the spectral signature of lens data, so once you activate the plotting tool, you just click your mouse and then on the map, then you will be able to extract uh, this uh, spec spectral signature for you. And you don't have to write any line of code. Uh, everything is automatic. So already implement in the, in the GMAP package. You can also load the data, for example, nap imagery, one meter resolution for the entire US. Um, so you can select the left uh, year, right year, but also, for example, length set data. And then you can left and right use the slider actually to compare the uh, changes. Again, no coding required. You can also load the local uh, thread file. If you have some vector data stored on your local computer, you can load this one um, and then convert it to uh, Earth engine object. Then you can use that one to do all kind of spatial analysis. You can also uh, load local raster. So Google Earth Engine, everything is the cloud, but you might not have all the data that you need uh, already in the cloud. So if you have local data, you can also integrate this uh, just one line of code to add the data to the map. Easy to do. Also, you can also publish some maps. So uh, for example, once you uh, produce loads of nice data layers, you might want to release to the public. So the GMAP package, you can quickly use that to just one line of code to publish the map as an interactive uh, application. And then you can share on social media or on your website. So people will be able to go to the link and to visualize the, the data. Lastly, you can also publish as a web app. So this is something similar to this at the beginning, the outline, I show you how to create the app. So you can go to the link and you can create something like this using a GMAP and also some open source uh, packages. Very easy to do uh, and it costs you nothing. No coding. So this is might be a good way that if you want to develop some applications uh, for the public. So lastly, I'm going to show you how we can use Google Earth Engine to uh, do service water mapping. And you can, I uh, developed a tutorial, so a zoom in the notebook. So you can click the link here uh, to go to the uh, the app. So let me show you in here, go to the notebook. So this is um, within my GitHub repo. I can see you the source code. You can run this one by directly clicking the uh, open in the collab. Uh, if you need to right click, open a new tab. So you can run this one directly using Google Collab without having to write, uh, to install anything on your computer. If you already installed Zupyter Novo, you can install the package and then you will be able to run this one um, on your local computer. So this shows you a quick um, uh, table of contents. So the first, you can install the package. Uh, if you already installed this one, just trying to check whether you are running this one on your local computer or um, in Google Collab. And then we can create an interactive map. Then we, we can quickly load the data. For example, the, the, uh, the data for uh, the state of Tennessee. And then we can create using one line of code to create a lens set time lapse and calculate NDV, uh, NDWI. And then we can extract water and calculate the area, for example. Lastly, we can do the plotting. I, you see from here, right? So this is basically doing the plotting, uh, calculate the area for the entire uh, state of Tennessee for the past 37 years. And you don't need to download anything. You can get the mapping, you can do a mapping of surface water for the Tennessee of Tennessee uh, just using this notebook and you can there are a lot more things you can do here I'm just showing a quick example how you can do this and you can also see here like different data layers you can turn this on and off so this is some quick application that you can do using Google Earth Engine and uh, GMAP okay that's all for my uh, presentation uh, if you have any question you can contact me via email um, Thank you for your attention. Take care. Bye-bye.